As Memorial Day weekend approaches, St. Charles urges Central Oregonians to get vaccinated. The hospital is currently dealing with an overflow of patients that's caused delayed care for non-COVID patients. Jordan Williams reports. At St. Charles Bend, this has become a common occurrence during the pandemic. Patients on ventilators need to be on their stomach to increase airflow. It's called proning, and it takes a team of medical professionals to turn them over. The patient will lie on their stomach for 18 hours before being flipped onto their back for six hours. Last week, 18 patients, both COVID and non-COVID, were on ventilators in the ICU. Now that we have on average 40 or 50 people in the hospital with COVID, which is the highest numbers that we've seen consistently since the pandemic started, people are having to get their surgeries bumped, including people who, who have aggressive cancers or things that are getting delayed in their treatments. Nathan Ansbaugh is an emergency room physician. Before the pandemic, Ansbaugh says he used to only transfer one or two patients a month to other hospitals in the region. But now he's looking to transfer nearly every patient he sees in the emergency room. Right now, we don't, we don't have a place to put you. It affects everyone. I mean, people who need care are getting delayed care. People who need to be seen in the emergency department are sometimes having to wait six hours to be seen. According to Ansbaugh, Memorial Day weekend is one of the busiest weekends of the year for the emergency room. And COVID-19 presents another challenge. If something happened to someone in my family right now that was not COVID related, I would have a much tougher time getting taken care of in Central Oregon and our system right now, I think that's really important and COVID is driving that, that overcapacity. Since March 1st, St. Charles has seen about 500 COVID-19 patients enter its emergency room and 98% of them were not vaccinated or were not fully vaccinated. St. Charles's message to the community is simple. There are certain things that are preventable, there's certain things that are not and COVID-19 is preventable right now. and. And that's the biggest thing that we can all modify, and, and that means getting vaccinated. In Bend, Jordan Williams, News Channel 21.